This is Calculus with Allenson. Problem number three from the 2003 BC test. Part A asked to find point P and dx dy of C at that point. So here we have two equations for x for these two functions. And we set them equal on our calculator. And we find out they're equal when y is equal to 3 fourths and x is equal to 5 fourths. And then we're going to do dx dy of c, which is this curve, at that point. Okay, so what we'd want to do is we could plug this into our calculator um, right here under um, n derev and make sure you plug in y is 3 fourths and then it should work out. You could do it by hand as well um, and the derivative of that is going to be 1 over the square root of this times the derivative of what's in the middle um, which would be 2y but remember this is a root so it's 1 half power so you'd be times the 1 half power as well so that will cancel with the 2. Um, essentially you're going to get y over root 1 plus y squared and when you plug in 3 fourths into those, you're going to get 3 fifths or 0.6. B says find the area of S. Okay. Um, we we'll use an integral expression to evaluate it. So, what we want to do is since they specifically say with respect to y, we want to basically do go this way up until the spot where point p is, which is at y equals 3 fourths. So we're going to integrate from 0 to 3 fourths. And we're going to, this function is the higher one, it's on top, c. So we're going to do of root 1 plus y squared minus the function below. 5 thirds y dy. Plug that into your calculator. You should get 0.346 or 0.347. C says curve C is part of the curve x squared minus y squared equals 1. Show that that's the polar equation r squared equals 1 over cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. To do that, to convert this, you need to realize that, that x, I kind of put these in a box here, x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. When you plug those in, you're going to get r squared cosine squared theta, squaring this, square the r, square the cosine theta, minus r squared sine squared theta equals 1. Okay, you're going to factor out an r squared. Oops. Minus sine squared theta equals 1. Okay, divide by the cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta, and you've got r squared. For d, it says use polar equation given in part c, so use this. to set up an integral expression with respect to the polar angle theta that represents the area of S. Okay, find the same area, but do it with polar equations. So we're going to go from theta equals 0 to this theta, whatever this angle right here is. And if we have the slope of this, we can take the inverse tangent and find theta. And right here we have the equation with respect to x. If we switch it to y equals, it would be 3 fifths. And so we know that tangent of 3 fifths, oops, fifths, is going to give us theta. Inverse tangent of 3 fifths is going to give us theta. theta. Um, if you take the tangent of theta, you would get the slope. So we want to integrate from 0 to this value, inverse tangent of 3 fifths. 
Uh, and to do the polar, we're going to go 1 half times the radius squared d theta. So I'd actually probably rewrite this one. We know our squared integral from 0 to the inverse tangent of 3 fifths, 1 half times 1 over cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta d theta. Points on this one, one point for the coordinates of p, one for the value of dx dy, one point on b for the limits of integration, one for the integrand, and one for the answer. c, one point for substituting r cosine theta and r sine theta in, one for isolating r squared. For d, one point for the limits of integration, and one for the integrand.